When you go to cut the clay, you've got a couple options. And please make sure you're always working on top of a board or a canvas. So I've got a piece of clay. There's a couple kinds of tools that we have available. One, this is a fettling knife. It's not super sharp, but you're welcome to cut with that is one way to cut. There are some kitchen butter knives that you're welcome to use to cut with also. Um, some containers have odd things like pizza cutters that you're welcome to cut the clay with. Um, and also I have these 18 inch metal rulers that you're welcome to good, use. They're good for um, measuring and cutting a straight line. So you can measure things, figure out how you, long you want them and cut it. Some of the other tools that you have in your container are going to be these loop tools. These are for carving out or digging. There's pretty big ones if you've got to go in and dig out a really big area or hollow something out. Um, there's also smaller ones where you can go in and dig out kind of a channel. Um, and there's even smaller ones than that. And some of them, some of them have more squarish cuts that they make and some of them make more of a round cut. If you would like to draw on the surface or add texture to your clay, that's great. Please don't ever use a knife to draw with. If you need to draw something specific, there's these little wood styluses that kind of look like little pencils that you can draw into the surface. The problem is they create these little clay boogers that you have to get off of there. Um, another way to put texture onto your surface is there is a texture bucket that you can use, and inside of it there's a whole variety of things. Some of them, this looks like kind of a waffle paddle thing here. Um, some of them you can just push into the surface and it will make a pattern for you. Uh, they are also inside the texture bucket some texture plates. If you're going to use a texture plate then you just lay it down. You can get a rolling pin, lightly go over it, and then when you pull it off it should make a pattern in the surface. Um, another option is there are letter and number stamps that you can use. So, if you would like to stamp a word into your piece, these aren't cookie cutters, so you don't want to punch all the way through, but you can set up your letters, not quite sure what I'm spelling here, you can set up your letters, don't punch all the way through, look a cookie cutter, and then, so I made the word MRB <laughs> on it, okay, so it makes a nice, nice letter impression on it. Um, another option of things you can do also, there are these plaster molds. So with this, you can take a chunk of clay, so if I want to make this sun right here, and then I could press the clay, oops, I can press the clay into the mold, and then when I pull it out, I should have a little sun that I can then go and trim.